What's going on, Reapers? It's Avante's Reaper Training, and today I wanted to get back into the motivation series, and I wanted to talk about the most important thing for men 25 to 18 when getting started in their careers and getting started on their goals and becoming an entrepreneur, and that is role models. So we, especially as black men, you know, we normally grow up in single parent households, right? And because of that, we have a, a yearning almost for, you know, male figures in our lives uh, that are very prevalent, right? And we tend to find role models in different spaces. You know, it could be from TV, it could be from the streets, it could be, you know, older siblings and things like that. But role models are very, very crucial in what you're trying to do because a role model can legitimately make or break you because you're going to line up your life to go in the direction of your role model. Even if you're trying to overtake them, you're gonna line it up to go as theirs did because you feel like that's a life that you aspire to have. Because think about it like this, right? Let's say you're, you're young, you grew up in the hood, you grew up around the block, and your role model's a drug dealer. You may wanna go farther than what he did as a drug dealer, but you still wanna, you still wanna be a drug dealer, which we all know what comes with being a drug dealer. You know, people die, people go to jail. It's never really a happy ending except for a few anomalies that tend to take place at certain times. And, you know, that's not a, a lifestyle that anybody should really want. You should more so be forced into that. But even then, it should be something that should be kind of, just, is this a means to an end, right? But if you have a role model and your role model was a drug dealer, or your role model is a gangbanger or something like that. That's the lifestyle you want to live. You just want to do it better. And that's one thing that as men we tend to do. We tend to look at a role model and then we want to kind of encompass their life. But put our own spin to it to make it to achieve greater goals. Sometimes. That's normally people who have a reaping mentality. If you're trying to follow a role model, you're going to want to do more than what they did. It's just natural. You're just ambitious. You you want to you know what you're shooting for, but it needs to go past that point of what where you started taking to. Now, if you're you don't have a reaper mentality, which is possibly about ninety to ninety five percent of the people that's gonna be out there, then you're more so than likely just gonna want to go to where they're at and just stay there. You know, if you there's people out there and they'll say straight up, and I've heard it come out of people's mouths. My parents was on uh, government assistance. It's good enough for them. It's good enough for me. And that's just how they. That's just how they carry it. That's just how they want to live it. And you know, again, there ain't nothing wrong with it. But we reapers over here. If we're taking over, right? That's just how it is. We're trying to be the, be the best that we can be. And you know, when you have the well, thing about role models is, especially when you're our age, when you're 25 to 18 years old, your role models. That's exact, that time, that age group is exactly when you start to chase after what your role model had, right? So normally you'll find a role model around a preteen. Um, I remember myself, my dad wasn't in my life at the, at the time, not physically. He was always there, you know, phone calls, things like that. But physically being there from around, I say I was about 11 to I was about 15, it was a, a period where he wasn't there. So a lot of my role models were like football players, like Ray Lewis. I actually, t at one point, I, I became a Muslim, uh, the Shahada and everything, uh, because I found a role model in a dude that I hardly knew. Uh, but he was a Muslim, and I thought that was the way to go. Um, and, you know, there's just a lot of things that, that you do when you're in that, at that age, because you're so, you're like a sponge. You're just trying to look for that next way to kind of find somebody who you can relate to. And it's hard to know who, you know. And one thing I'm going to say is, when you turn 18 to 25, this is your opportunity to like, now you have sense of what the world is. Now you understand what the world is. You have the reaper mentality, you were born with that. So now you know what's going on. So this is your time to change that. But you can run into more influences and more role models as you get older. Let me tell you something, this, and I know everybody goes through it. Every single, I say, if you're 25 to 18, and you work at a job, or you are just around a lot of older people, Every person that's 30 and up is gonna try to mentor you as if they was your dad. This is gonna happen. Now, I'm here to tell you, I listen to everybody, right? But I don't at the same time, that makes sense. I listen to what people have to say, I take what I take from it, and I. And, but at the same time, your mind is your mind. You need to have a free thought. 
And that's another thing that I want to get into in this video is going to be free thought. You know, and free thought is the most important attribute that a reaper has because a reaper mentality means that you're free from the influences of social media, you're free from the influences of, of other people. You move to the beat of your own drum, right? You're just going through life and you're, you're, you're always wanting to learn, you're always trying to find new information, but none of that information is ever going to attack or break down your morals and your ethics. Because that's something that's a pride in yourself that really lean on that in life. When people are trying to influence you that are older and things like that, you really have to take a look at the person and the character. Now, like I said, you listen to what they're saying. Because even in the most bullshit of statements, for the most part, you can always find something that's useful. And even in the most nonsensical of rhetoric, you know, it's, it's always there to be found. But what kind of keeps me level-headed is I always happen to run into some brothers who give me enough knowledge to deter me from doing some dumb shit. Especially with my friends and things like that. That's why I tell you guys, the company you keep is very important. A lot of my friends help me out when like, I'm about to you know, try to ball out on some sneakers or something stupid like that. And they'll be like, man, that's a dumbass decision. Why don't you do that with your money, such and such? And it's like, you know what? You're right, dog. And that's the type of influences you need in your life. Not the type that's gonna try to reinforce their negative lifestyle habits on you because they're just trying to relive their old life through you. That's kind of dumb. You know what I mean? That doesn't make any sense. And like I said, the way you tell with these role models is you look at them and you observe people. I know one thing I do when I come in, I analyze people very, very deeply, right? And I just kind of see where your mindset is and see how you are because, for one, if you're an individual who I think is a, a crab in a bucket, I don't even want to fucking talk to you. I don't even want to interact with you. It's hi, what's up? And I'm going about my business. If I think that you're a sucker, I'm hi, whatever, I'm going about my business. If I think that you're uh, instigator or whatever the case may be, I analyze people very deeply. You know, there's some people that go out there, you want to be friends with everybody, I understand that. Yeah, that's cool. Me, I like having friends too. You know, I'm a very friendly individual. But at the same time, man, the fuck I look like out here in, in, like interacting with these people who I know is bad news, man. That don't make sense. So it's one of those things you really have to analyze people. And if you analyze somebody, you see the stand-up individual, you know, even though I talk about the, the suckers and shit that I encounter every day, I've met some stand-up brothers at this, at, at where I'm at right now and, and through these last couple years. And that's because I analyzed them and I saw they're genuinely good people who made mistakes and they want to impute that knowledge on the younger. And that's the people that you want to talk to. You know, those people that started at the one point and moved up to another, those people that really have that mindset of that reaper mentality. Because you can tell somebody who has a reaper mentality, let me tell you something better. They just pop out because it's not too often. Like I said, 90 to 95% ain't gonna have that idea. So when you find an older individual who has that reaper mentality and he just, for whatever reason, couldn't do it in his life, those are the people that you wanna listen to. That's the people that I listen to. You know, cause the crazy thing about it, when you start talking to them, even though, they got knocked off their path a little bit. Every time you talk to somebody who's older and they've and they learned from their experiences and they have that mentality, it comes full circle. You see them start doing shit in their later years that is taking them to a whole new height. I'm talking about individuals who, who I, I know have been in prison. They've been, they've been through some bad situations and now they're working on becoming millionaires. And they almost there. And they, they, they took their situation and flipped it. And it motivates you because it's like, damn, you know, I haven't fucked up yet. You know what I mean? Not too bad. You know, we all made this mistakes early. I made some mistakes when I was uh, <laughs> just two, three years ago. But I'm not at a point where I fucked up that bad to where it's irreversible yet. So it's like, man, I have all these opportunities. And if I do this and I do this and I invest here and I stay on this grind here, then I can just, if I just keep fighting, be a little bit consistent. By the time I hit the A's they are now, my life would have already changed 10 years before that. And then that's when you get the power. And that's that's when you get the ability to do things that you never want, knew that you can do. That's when you can wake up at 11 o'clock on a Tuesday and be like, man, everything going good with the business, fuck it. I'm about to, what's going on in Miami, though? It's cold as a bitch right now where I'm at. I'm gonna go ahead. That's, that's when you make those decisions. That's when you get that financial freedom. You know what I mean? That, and that's where it starts at. So your role models are important. I want you guys all to be very, very weary about who you pick as your role models. I know I am. And I've had some bad role models in the past. People that I've looked at and I, I've taken on their characteristics. You know, all the violent issues that I've ever gotten into is because 
some of my role models were violent people. You know what I mean? They was the individuals who didn't take nothing from nobody. One thing that is still in me and I wish it wasn't to such an extent is I'm somebody who's very, very big on respect. You know what I mean? You, I'm not gonna allow nobody, especially a man. You know what I mean? I, I really don't argue with, with uh, women. Well, I don't at all for the most part unless I'm drunk. But with, with men, I'm, I've always been big on um, respect. And, you know, whenever I feel like a man's trying to disrespect me or belittle me, he's trying to show his dominance, I gotta buck. I gotta get ready. I gotta, you know, that's when I'm ready to get violent. And, that's, and it puts me in some situations that I don't always need to be in. And I'm learning how to change that. But that's a learned trait from uh, influence that wasn't necessarily bad, but I just took too much to a higher degree. You know what I mean? So just always remember your morals, your ethics, and your character, and look for that in people that you're that you're going ahead. If you do this, that's the most important thing that you will know. Starting out from your head. So remember, we don't chase dreams, we don't goals, we be training. Like, comment, subscribe, if you like the video and the content, we're coming back to y'all more and more. Let's go.